Peace, guys. DJ INC from the Top Ropes. Um, we're going to do like this, this kind of a ragtag review um, on the two dopest sneaker, sneaker bags I've ever had. I know the camera's not on, but we're going to get it going, so hold on. All right. Like I said, this isn't going to be a great review. I don't even have my light. I, I could probably... I could probably go get my light. Uh, okay. I think the light helps a little bit. I don't, I don't really think it does. So... The rest of this, I'm gonna try to do in one take. Here's two bags, two dopest sneaker bags really on the market. This is the Soul Premise sneaker backpack. This is the Shrine sneaker backpack. The reason this one, because I just use this, I just got back from my other crib and I got it packed so we can, I can show you kinda, but this is not gonna be great. So let's go through one at a time. We'll start with Soul Premise. Break down this bag and you can go check it because I told you I'm not gonna do a great review, but we got two pockets up here, pretty decent pockets. Um, if you know, you could probably fit some stuff in here. I'm not like I said, this is not gonna be a great review. It's two pockets up here, and then what happens is this whole bottom piece opens, and you could put a pair of sneakers in there. Hope you can see that. But then the bag opens up. And these two compartments back here and here, you can put a pair of sneakers in. I'm not going to show you because I really don't want to take them. Also, on the inside of that, there are pockets right here. But also, it opens up on the other side. And sneaker here, sneaker here. So what you can see so far, you can fit five pairs of sneakers in here. And then on the inside of that, you have this big pocket and you have two pockets right here. I told you I'm not doing a great review. I know, this is not the greatest. I'm not even looking at the camera exactly, but either way. So in the middle of that is a laptop compartment. Um, there's a pocket here, and then there's a laptop pocket. So basically the laptop sits in the middle. The two sneakers, oh, oh, two sneakers over here, it puts together, you put your sneakers down here, and boom, you got five pairs of sneakers in the backpack. Um, now, the shark which I'm using, and I can show you, well, let's show you, right here in the front, um, there's a long pocket that covers everything, and I'll show you what I put in here, a uh, book that I was reading, this is my schedule book, the uh, charger for my uh, laptop, oh, my G-Shop, I threw that in the front too, and my hard drive, and that's it. There's also, if we're going to be on the outside, there's a water bottle pocket back here that zips open as a water bottle. You can fit a pretty de decent water bottle in there. And there's another pocket right here, which is like a little slip pocket, but it's pretty deep. Maybe throw your phone or something in there, right? Okay. Once we open it up, and it has my stuff in here, so this is going to be... So essentially, you can see how I packed it. I got a pair of sneakers up here. I also got my um, slides on top of that. A few little things I stuck between. I make space. And down here, instead of putting another pair of sneakers, I put my dock bag, my electronics bag. I stuffed some more socks, some more underwear, my chargers down there. I, I pretty much think that's it. But this will be set up for you to put a pair of sneakers here, a pair of sneakers right here. And then on this side, there is, oh, by the way, there's a big pocket behind all of that. So go back. On this side is where you would pack your luggage in. Um, there's three of these little pockets here. I don't really know what you would use those for. I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera, not the screen right there. Um, and inside here is basically kind of like a suitcase. Um, I just have my clothes stuffed in there. and didn't. I'm not going to go through how much in there. And inside here we have um, these pockets, probably dot pockets that if you just carried your um, dot kit and pieces, you put in here, these are all plastic and they're separate, but they go down and they go up. Did I show that? They go downward and they go up and there's three of them that are separate. So actually some good space and put things in there. And then there's one up here that's like its own dot kit, which is just kind of clear. I think these are waterproof. Oh, 
And there's one last trick with this bag. Right here at the top, the zipper right here in the back. And this pocket comes out. And what you can do, it's a hat for So, as a matter of fact, I can show you that real quick. You get, you know, three or four or five hats in there. I got to fold in the back. And boom, you come over. So your hat's on top of your bag, right? Perfect. Okay, now, let's go over my feelings about the bag. The sole premise, it holds five pairs of sneakers inside of it. So it absolutely holds more. But once you put five pairs of sneakers in there, it's not much room for anything else, specifically any clothing. So one of the things I recommend when you use that bag, use the top sneaker spots if you want to really carry four sneakers, which is weird because you'll have a pair on your feet, it's five. And then use this to try to put clothes in. You can put a pair of jeans, a hoodie, a couple of shirts, you could probably stuff in there. Or what I recommend when I used it, I put two pair of sneakers in. Um, I used the other two sneaker compartments to put clothes in. And I did use the laptop compartment and I put clothes down here. So under those circumstances, worked out pretty good. Now, as you can see, with the shrine, I put one pair of sneakers in there. I put all my dop kit in the other sneaker compartment and put clothes in the rest because normally I would have a secondary kind of tote bag with my um, toiletries. I keep calling it dop. My toiletry stuff and that bag, I can fit some clothes in. So I kind of carry two bags. I'd be able to fit stuff. But this time I just carried this one bag all by itself. And it was only a couple of days. I only spent a few days out of town, but it worked out pretty good. And I think this along with my other bag, then I could really get something done because now I don't have my toiletries in that bag. So I can use that bag just fill up with clothes. So that's perfect. Let me get to the point. One of these bags, I'm not gonna mess around with y'all. I'm selling this bag and let me tell you why. I don't think in any circumstance I would carry five pairs of sneakers all at the same time and then have a pair of sneakers, that's six pairs of sneakers on a trip. I would never do that. Most I would carry, if I was even for a month, I'd carry three pairs of sneakers, the two in one of the bags, and then I'd put a pair on my feet and I'd try to match everything with those so I could just go around and around. I'm not that pressed. The thing I will say between, this bag is larger. I'm not gonna pull that one up because it's full of stuff and it's kind of heavy, but this is a larger backpack. The point I wanna make, I did have that backpack and I went on a trip to Arizona. I used that one and they say in their description that you can use this carry-on. No, you can't. I'm telling everybody right now. You can use it as carry-on probably for longer flights or something like that, but connecting flights, you can't get that on. So here's the bag, pretty much the regular flow. This, yeah, it's, it's doing none of that, right? None of that at all, nowhere close, nothing like. So my recommendation, if you need to carry the sole premise, you prefer that one, I recommend you check in online and then go to the plane and then realize that it didn't fit because that's what I accidentally did. And then they put it under the plane and they send it anyway. On the way back, I had to check it because, but if you're on a trip and you wanna carry a whole bunch of sneakers, I think this will be a better, bag it's more sensible to fit your sneakers in plus you can fit four and use the bottom for your stuff this bag on the other hand which i like and i'm keeping this one carries you know you've seen the two sneaker places for it and then the suitcase which is perfect it's kind of the size of a small suitcase so i haven't taken a flight with it but i'm sure that i'll be able to carry this one on the plane and I like the space on that. I know this one's gonna have absolutely more space, but I think this space can be utilized really, really well if you're carrying two bags and then you don't have to check anything. And the whole point is, I don't like checking bags. So the shrine is better if you don't wanna check a bag. If you're going on one long flight, maybe that one, but if you're doing connecting flights, the sole premise is not, not gonna happen. So, um, Right now, the sole premise is sold. It, I already sold it on eBay. So that's why I'm doing this video and I kind of did it all in one take because I want to just get it all out here and get it done. There's my review. The sole premise sneaker bag versus the shrine bag. I know it wasn't the greatest review, 
but I just wanted to get that off. And I noticed nobody else ever did a comparison on the two. Kind of interesting, but that's what it is. Um, subscribe, like, um, comment down there, and in and, and links down, down there. I'm gonna have a link so you can go to the Shrine um, website, and I think I might be able to give you a discount, and I have one that'll go to the Soul Premise site, and I think I may be able to get a discount on that. Because I'm doing this in December. Right now it's December 15th. So it's around Christmas time. So if you're watching this of 2022. So if you're watching this, it might be a great Christmas present. And you can go down to discount and get something. So that's what it is. Um, subscribe, like, comment. Boy, DJ see from the top ropes.